is, is Alyssa, I um, have a haul, uh, well, a very small haul, but an interesting haul nonetheless for you today. Um, I went to Bath and Body Works the other day because I had extreme cabin fever. And um, here in Virginia, we've had, this last week, we had 22 inches of snow within like a 24 hour period, which I know for those of you that live up north that have like two or three feet of snow, um, you're rolling your eyes at me right now because you guys have to deal with that kind of stuff all the time. But this is actually the first like significant snow I think we've had in three or four years. Um, and so to us, it was a huge deal. Like I got stuck. If you happen to follow me on Instagram, you can see the pictures where I got stuck behind a three car little pileup just in my neighborhood because people were slipping and sliding. They don't know how to drive on that stuff. And it was just crazy. So I was happy to get out. And I was particularly happy because I went in to look at the fresh market stuff. And um, I, I was sort of, like I like, I re actually really liked the snap peas candle, which I wasn't expecting to, but I wasn't like super excited about that, although I like it. Um, I was curious to smell the market peach lotion, which if you like the market peach candle, you'll like. I'm not like a huge follower of the market peach contingency, but the lotion did smell good and I was half tempted to get it. But instead I got distracted because up towards the front of the cash register was a whole display of Hawaii themed stuff. And I think, um, I want to say that they're referring to this collection as the Aloha collection, but I'm not really sure. But they had a lot of um, the new antibacterial soaps and hand sanitizers and lotions. And when I got up to the cash register, I saw that they had these three, um, which I believe are called the Aloha collection. I'm going to double check before I post this video what this collection is called or Hawaii collection. But anyway, they're Hawaii themed and there were three of them. And actually, this is the first time in a long time that I have purchased previews for something and actually like them enough to want to go back. Like, I'm already excited to go back on March the 10th when these are released in full size and get the full sizes of these. And that has not happened to me probably since, like, last year. Maybe not even then. I really haven't been purchasing a lot of things from Bath & Body Works, which is sad because I love them. But I felt like there for a while they got into a pattern, and I said this in my last video, just like repeating things over and over again. And if you'd already purchased them when they come out again, you're just kind of like, meh. But these are exciting. The first one is called Maui Hibiscus Beach. And sorry about the glare. It's a cloudy day here, and so no matter where I go, the lighting is pretty crummy. This one is nice. It's um, a little, it's sort of like the wild card of the three. It's the most floral, and it um, kind of, the smell, I know I said this about a lotion in the last video, it reminds me of shampoo, <laughs> um, but if you like that more clean, um, kind of fresh scent, then you'll definitely like this one. If you don't like florals, don't even bother, because this is heavy, heavy floral. It does smell like hibiscus. Um, it just is a very fresh smell, and it kind of... Um, there's like maybe a teeny tiny bit of a fruit to it, but not really. It's like mostly just straight up floral and maybe mango might be the fruit that I kind of smell in it. Um, it definitely smells like hibiscus flowers though. It's really nice. It's very clean. It's um, the sportier one out of the three. And I would, you know, maybe say this is the most like perfumey. I know that's not a word, but this one smells to me like perfume that you would buy um, like at the department store. It actually kind of reminds me of a Lancome perfume I have for some reason. But I really like this one. It's just clean and nice and I think people that are more neutral to scents will like this one better. And then the next one, I love the packaging on these by the way. I've read in a couple blogs that some people hate it, but I think it's really pretty. Um, and it's actually kind of different from what they normally do, which is nice. But this is a Wahoo Coconut Sunset and I love the orange. I love orange, um, especially in the summertime. So I'm loving that packaging. And I like these because they are the um, travel size and not the preview size, which is nice because you get a little bit more bang for your buck, especially since they have increased prices on some of the things there. But anyway, this smells really good. Um, I love this one. It smells to me like coconut and mango or pineapple is similar to the set that they put out with the three coconuts a couple years ago that had coconut pineapple coconut mango and there was coconut something else but I can't remember um 
It does smell similar to one of those, but to be honest with you, even if it's a dupe for that, I think it's worth it to get a new one just because the packaging is so cute. And the packaging will look really cute in a bathroom like late spring, summer. So for the first time, I'm not like super bothered by that, but I love this one. It just smells really summery and um, fruity and very, it just has a very tropical smell. This one doesn't have, um, there's like maybe a teeny tiny bit of a floral underneath, but it's nice because it's not overpowering. But to me, this just smells like coconut and mango, but I really like that. And then the last one is my favorite. Well, I don't know. That's hard because I like all three of them. This is the Hawaii Passion Fruit Kiss, and this is another one that I like the packaging on. I just think it's really pretty and girly. And I like that they're doing new things um, with the packaging too. And this is Passion Fruit Kiss. I can get it open. Oh, that one smells good. This is weird because this is almost like the baby of the other two. It's half floral, half fruit. You definitely smell, um, I don't know what passion fruit smells like, but I definitely smell like some kind of tropical fruit, which I'm assuming is passion fruit. Um, passion fruit always makes me think of fruit stripe gum for some reason, so it kind of has that smell to it. And then there's definitely a floral mixed in. I think this out of the three is the most girly. And it also smells kind of like a perfume that you would buy at the department store, but not to the point that it's like an overwhelming heavy floral. But I really like this. Yeah, this one is fruity. This one is fruity and floral. And this one is floral, if that helps. <laughs> I'll make it easier to understand, but I really like that one. And then I was actually really pumped because... I went with the coupon for the free soap, and I don't have the soap actually to show you guys. Sorry, my shirt is all disheveled. Um, I don't have the soap because it's in my back bathroom, but I have the two that I bought the soaps for. They have these lotions, and I love that they're doing this now, like the little hand creams that fit in your purse. But back in the day, um, iced pineapple was my jam. And then when they got rid of it, I was really sad. I can remember like completely hosing myself down with that in high school. And thank God it smelled good. That and um, Coco Cabana, do you guys remember that one? Those are scents that I really wish they would bring back. Um, but they had, this is called, after I drop it on Webster, Island White Pineapple. And this is also available in the soaps. Um, and it smells so good. The only thing about this one is I was really hoping it would smell like iced pineapple. And it definitely reminds me of it. I wish, my only complaint about this is that it has a bubblegum smell to it. And so you get the pineapple smell, which is amazing and does smell like iced pineapple. But then there's like a heavy bubble, unless I'm just crazy, there's a heavy bubblegum scent. So this is like pineapple bubblegum. But I really like it. I love the formula. It's very moisturizing in everybody's hands, especially mine teaching. Like I'm constantly washing them because I have people coughing and hacking on me and stuff. But I love this one. Um, but my favorite thing out of everything that I purchased, I saved for last. And this is the Honolulu Sun. And um, it has this pretty, try to get it without the glare. Hopefully you guys saw this one without the glare too. Sorry about that. Um, Honolulu Sun smells very similar to their, the, well now I'm blinking. I think, I want to say it's called... I don't know how you say the word, but they have a hand lotion that's in the, um, like the more spa line with the blue and orange packaging. And it's like M-O-N-O-I. I don't know how you say that word. I teach preschool, so I don't know a lot of stuff. <laughs> but anyway, it smells a lot like that. Um, this soap in this is probably my favorite besides some of the fall stuff, hand soap that they've ever, ever put out. This is, I think, one of my favorite things that Bath & Body Works has ever put out. It smells amazing. I wore it yesterday, um, and I got so many compliments. Everyone was like, some of these smells really good. And then kind of by process of elimination, they figured out it was me. Um, but it just smells like sunscreen and coconut. And, like, I don't think it gets much more summer or beach smelling than this lotion. So I would say if you got nothing, run, don't walk and buy the Honolulu Sun soap and lotion because it smells amazing. I am definitely going to be hoarding this and the soap, and I don't hoard products ever.
but I love it that much. Sunscreen, coconut, sunscreen in a good way. It just smells like the beach. But anyway, I hope you enjoy that. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, and I will talk to you later. Bye.